Did everything go as planned? Well, I didn't have any time to snap any photos. But with these guys, you can be sure the next ride Corselli's men take will definitely be in a motherfucking hearse. You know, this last one was not even supposed to happen. Francis said that the Vichetti job would be the last. I've got to put my foot down, Russell. We can't go on doing this forever. Well, Jim, the problem is that we've got the ultimate killing machines right here. And fucking Francis is gonna keep on forcing us to use them till he's the only drug operation in town. Remember? Jesus, you guys get uglier every fucking day. Francis, um, we just finished the Corselli job, as planned. You guys are kind of early. Uh, I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. Um, is there anything I can get you fellas? Congratulations, Professor, you did it. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You performed a service for me, and you did it with expert perfection. Job well done. But now it's time for us both to move on to bigger and better things. You mean that was our last job? That's what I mean. We're, we're done now. We're free. That's right, Professor. You're out. You're out completely. See, I always believe that when you're involved in organized crime, you're involved for life. Wait a minute, Francis. We don't necessarily want out. I mean, shit, we can keep on working for you for as long as you want. I mean, you got other jobs you want us to do, right? There's other jobs we can do for you. I mean, you're just beginning to find out what these babies can do for you. You know what you're saying may be true? But I'm afraid I just don't have any work for you right now. And I'm afraid I just can't afford any loose ends. Come on, man. Give us a break. I mean, we did everything you said. I mean, you can take all the stuff. You can have the formula. You can take the CZAs. Anything you want. But please don't kill us, Francis. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to kill you guys. They're going to kill you. Hungry? I could eat.
man, you've been overseas for two years and the first place you come to is this dump. Yeah, and the first ride I took is in this piece of shit. was my last bottle of whiskey, motherfucker. It took you long enough to get here, Taylor. Got here as fast as I could. I had some business to take care of. Man, you look like shit. Yeah, well, things haven't been good lately. I got a bad leg and a fucked up heart. So is there any word on my father since you wrote me last? No, and you won't be hearing any either. What are you talking about, man? Your father isn't missing, Taylor. He's dead. Dead? What are you talking about, man? Come on. Let's have a drink. Don't just tell me what happened. The truth is, Taylor, your father wasn't doing research anymore. He had found out exactly what it was he was working on. A process to reanimate dead tissue into superhuman condition. I thought he was working on some kind of synthetic cheese spread. Not hardly. What about his grant? Didn't they find out? Well, Taylor, your father didn't want you involved in this whatsoever. And the grant ran out a long time ago. And that's when the problems began. Your father decided to borrow money from the mob to finish his work. Borrowed money from the mob? What, didn't he pay it back or what? Well, I'm afraid it's not that easy. You see, when Francis Van Simier found out about your father's work, he wanted a piece of it, a piece of the action. He wouldn't let us just pay the money back. So he killed my father because he wouldn't give in. We had to give in. We did give in. We had no other choice. I 
think you'll understand a whole lot better if I just show you. What the fuck is that? That is 12 years of hard work and research. Your father liked to call them CZAs, cybernetic zombie assassins. They were the perfect soldiers, but in this case, mafia hitmen. No. No way, this isn't right. My father would never work on something like this. He didn't have a choice, Taylor. Neither did I. Yeah, well, I think I got a choice, man. And I think I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Look, I ain't got time for this crazy bullshit. Now, I don't know where you got all these bodies from, but you better get rid of them. And you better have some real info on my father when I get back. Now, listen to me, goddammit. I'm not fucking with you. These CZAs are for real. And your father's really dead, okay? He was double-crossed and murdered by those fucking assholes who forced us into this mess in the first place. And as you can see, I'm pretty messed up myself. Now, we can sit around pissed off all night, or we can fucking do something about it, all right? All right. If you're for real, what can we do about it? I was with your father through every step of tissue regeneration. He's got every reanimation phase from muscle strengthening to mind control mapped out in that computer. Maybe we should run a hard copy of everything in case that gets lost. Where do you want this shit? This is your father's own form of synthetic adrenaline. Electronically produced, once introduced into the subject's nervous system, it acts like an energy source, a kind of high-octane fuel for the human body. And it works in part through the cybernetic network implanted in the brain here. How long are we talking about here, Russell? With your help, Taylor, we can have these puppies up and running in just a few days. This shit really works? Your father's work was good, Taylor. Obviously too good for his own sake. It's certainly good enough to get us what we want. You home? For some reason, I can't quite bring myself to shoot. Well, you scared the shit out of me. Well, at least you remembered my name. Don't you know you should never point a gun at somebody unless you intend to kill them? I couldn't find any bullets. Well, you should have used a knife then. You're stronger than I am. So what's the point? 
If you would have came here a year ago, I might have been more serious about it. Listen, I told you I was sorry. If I said it again, I'd be lying about it. You lied about it the first time. We lied to each other. You knew that. No, I never lied to you. I was gonna give my life to you. I loved you, Taylor, and you fucked me over. You fucked a lot of people over. Don't give me that bullshit. What the hell kind of marriage would that have been anyway, huh? You're such a fucking coward. You left my entire family stranded. My mother died of a broken heart because of what you did to me. You wanna shoot me? You wanna shoot me? Here's the fucking bullet. Go ahead and shoot me. I was lying when I said the gun was empty. You bitch. Don't worry about him. He's harmless. We just gotta move him. I don't know how much Taylor told you about these things. I think he wanted to surprise you. That's a safe bet. Pick him up. Get these guys up and running again. The next step, own their combat skills. That's right. One small glitch can blow the whole project. How's the involuntary GDO intake on that one, Taylor? No problem here. Any last details you think we should go through before I start the fireworks? No, I think I'm satisfied. Send him to the store to pick up more ammo. Those guys are going through it faster than hell. I'll pick up some picnic supplies tomorrow if you'd like to get away from all this for an afternoon. Don't forget to remind me to tell Russ to change the plates on the van tomorrow, too. I thought we could drive the van into the country and stay at that cabin that we used to be so fond of, remember? It's not there anymore. Besides, I really got to spend the day going over these charts. Tomorrow night, this operation goes into action. And what exactly does that mean? Wouldn't understand. How do you know? Maybe I would. Slime doesn't bother me, remember? What's this? Directions through the city. Vincemier? Give me that. No. Heather, give me the map. No, I know who this is. 
You're not working for any Japanese arms company, are you? What, are you working for this guy? Are you gonna kill this guy? You are, you're gonna kill this guy, aren't you? What do you know about Van Semier? I don't know. I, I saw something on the news about him. He's a drug dealer, right? Yeah, he's a drug dealer. And a thief. And a blackmailer. And a loan shark. And a killer, Heather. He killed my father. You're right, we're not working for an arms company or for anybody else for that matter. This is a revenge story, baby, pure and simple. Tomorrow night, those five CZAs over there are gonna hunt that bastard down and rip his fucking heart out. That's the truth. How do you like that? Sorry, Taylor, but murder? Why don't you just go to the cops? How do you even know this is gonna work? This is fucking crazy. Yeah, it is. You already know too much for your own good as it is. Listen, why well, don't you just try to forget about all this? Go stay at your mom's. I'll come get you in a couple days. No way. If you think I'm just gonna disappear and let you and Russell live out your bullshit revenge fantasies, you're wrong. I love you, Taylor, and I'm not gonna let you risk your life like this. What the hell is going on in oh, here? Russ. Heather was just leaving. Russell, I know what you're planning on doing tomorrow night. For Christ's sake, don't go through with it! Taylor! No, I'm not fucking talking about this anymore! Where am I supposed to go? I don't give a shit. Just don't let me see you around here tomorrow. You got that? <laughs> that was a little harsh, Taylor. You oh, think she deserved that? Fuck you! Fuck. Need a ride? Get in. You just came from Professor Bloom's old place, didn't you? Maybe. Do you know who I am? No. I think you do. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna ask you a few questions to let us get to know each other a little better, okay? So, who's living in the professor's building now? Nobody, really. Just a friend. That's good. Friends are good to have. I have a lot of friends. I know how much it hurts to lose them. You wouldn't want to lose yours, would you? No. I didn't think so. You know, I always wasn't a bad guy. I used to be a hand model. Now, I want you to go back and tell your friends if they're thinking about screwing around with whatever, or even thinking about screwing around with whoever, I should really hate to lose them as friends. Understand? Yes. Yes what? Yes, I understand. I knew you would. You know, I'm really glad we had a chance to have this little chat. I think this is going to be the beginning of a beautiful relationship. Now, I'm sorry I'm going to have to let you off a little early because I'm getting a headache. 
but I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of each other real soon. Don't be a stranger. Bad. What do you think, sweetheart? It's good. All right. You tell Chino. I'll give him ten a key for this flake he's bringing into town. Yeah, fuck you for ten thousand. Chino's got welfare lines full of Colombians who are willing to pay thirteen for the same snow all day long. That cocksucker. Wet bag, motherfucker, thinks he can suck this shit up our nose for 13 a key. He better send your sister along a couple nights a week as part of the deal. Why you sweating? <laughs> Fuck was that? Why don't you go check it out for us, Dino, huh? did you lead us into, Francis? Is this some kind of setup? Why don't you tell me, asshole? Listen!
So what do you think? I don't know. Seems to be severe cell damage. We have to do a complete series reconstruction. How many organ donors do we have left? There's four and uh, two in the tank, including this one. How does the clock look? I think we'll beat it. With this new serum strain, the turnaround time is much faster. Uh, my only concern is uh, tissue loss, and I, I think I'd feel more comfortable if this was a dog or a cat. Cell organization match? It doesn't matter. If we marry the two in time, uh, the honeymoon will be a breeze. You start on the brain, I'll spread the chest cavity and uh, remove all the weak organs, and let's try to stay within a 20% mechanical substitution ratio. All right, I have two o'clock. Let's try to get our boy talking by nine. All right. Shit. What is it? Scooter was O positive. The fuck are you talking about? We needed B negative cells. You told me the scooter was B negative. I thought he was B negative. Well, you though. just fucked up. We, we needed B negative cells. If we can't match the cells, then we have a very big problem. I had no way of knowing that he wasn't B negative. That's what he told me. Well, what are we going to do about it? Well, we could just get another one. And where do you suppose we're going to find another B negative? It's a big city. Uh, anywhere. take like a week and you thought it was gonna take a day and we only have seven hours so uh what, what do you know i don't know anything anymore i just know that this is uh quicker and simpler than i ever thought it could be i'm a lucky guy you are once again lucky what Ross, wake up. It's nine o'clock, Russell. It's nine o'clock and they're not here. Where the fuck are they? Don't worry about them, Taylor. They know how to handle themselves. If something went wrong, they'd probably just disappear to avoid the heat. They'll show up sooner or later. It's happened before, man. They're like ninjas. They know how to hide. What could go wrong? Tell me that. With the firepower they're packing, there's nothing they can't fix on their own. As long as that Van Semier son of a bitch is dead, I guess it'll be worth it. Now you're talking. I think your father's soul will rest in peace tonight. I think Heather might even take you back. Ain't love grand. You want to think about that. Listen, uh, I'm gonna go take a walk around town, clear my head. Just don't go near the crime scene. You don't need to be seen around there, okay?
Jesus Christ. You see that? That's what happened to our monsters. They're still out there killing people. Go on, read it. All over town, people are being attacked by killers in black using high-powered assault weapons. No. It can't be. <laughs> yeah, well, it sure the hell is. And we're responsible for every person those zombies kill. We gotta do something about this, man. We can't let this go on. No. There's nothing we can do about it. We just have to wait and let the cops take care of it. We can't let ourselves get involved in something like this. Yeah, well, we are involved in it, damn it. I mean, hell, we might as well be out there killing those people ourselves. I don't know what went wrong, Taylor. Maybe they're just too damaged to work properly. While systems seem functional, it might be that they're just not separating humans as targets. We'll just have to have confidence that the police will be able to handle the situation. Come on, Russ. You know that we stand a better chance against those things than the cops do. I mean, shit, at least we know what we're up against. I'm going out there, man. I'm going after I'm not gonna have this kind of thing on my shoulders. No, damn it, you're not leaving this lab! Oh. Russell, man, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. No. You alright? Go Man, I'm just getting carried away. Jesus Christ.
Heather, what the fuck are you doing here? You can't get rid of me that know. easily. Come on! Uh. Who the fuck is it? I said, who is it? Jesus Christ, Taylor. Taylor, you've lost a lot of blood. I gotta get you to the hospital. They got Heather. I don't know what I was thinking. They got Heather? What do you mean they got Heather? She's dead. I've just barely got away. They're still out there, man. <coughs> Can't do something about it. No, Taylor. Now listen to me. At the rate you're bleeding, you'll be dead in less than two hours if I don't get you to the hospital. If Heather's dead, no, Russell. I can't... Just let me go. Just let me go. What? That's the only way. Just let me die. You'll know what to do. No human can ever fight them. You're right. No human can stop those things. <laughs> but don't go getting any crazy ideas. I mean, I, I can't just... I, I know what you're thinking, but... Oh, all right, Taylor. I won't let you down. Thank <laughs> you. 
in that soup kitchen got a hell of a lot of nerve tossing us out of the street at this hour. I, I, I've been coming to this kitchen since 1979, and I ain't ever seen no fatherly ass bitch like that. <laughs> yeah, but you sure got a nice ass, though. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's for true. That's for true. Man, I ain't never seen an ass like that. The last time I seen an ass like that was in the back of my <coughs> 19... <laughs> You never had no 1956 Chevy? Oh, what you talking about? That was Spocky Johnson. He, he had the Chevy. You had that one was that? That that ends a piece of shit. <laughs> not, not 1967. 1967. Me and Spocky Johnson went to Las Vegas. <coughs> That's when I got my teeth knocked out of that. Blind uh Demi Franklin was singing in, 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 in Detroit. <laughs> Yeah, she sure had a nice ass, buddy. <laughs> Goddamn cats, shut up! <sighs> shut up, you damn ass! Cat. <laughs> nope. I ain't never seen no ass like that one before. <laughs> Hello?
Hello? Taylor? Some kind of game? Russian roulette or something? This is supposed to scare me into talking? How do I know there's even a bullet in the gun? There's three. And you're very lucky. Thank <laughs> you. 
Van Semier. You're just a two-bit drug pusher, doesn't know what he's gotten himself into. CZAs are gone. I killed him. That's the last one. That's where you're wrong, Taylor. There's a lot more on the way. See, I look at your father's creatures as mere prototypes. Yeah, you're a dreamer, too. No, I'm much more, Taylor. Much more. And right now, I'm holding all the cards. So why don't you be a good little boy and play along? You see, I own the serum, so I own you. How's it feel to get a fix of your father's drug? So if you want any, you're gonna have to work for me. No deal, Francis. I'm not some junkie you can push your poison on. And I'm not working for you or any of your shitbag friends. can't threaten us. You're right. If I wanted you dead, I wouldn't hesitate. I like to consider myself a sportsman, so I'm going to give you a chance to win back your freedom. What did you have in mind? Oh, it's empty. Your freedom or your death. Same goes for your friend. No way. It's just you and me, Francis. He's not playing. If you don't humor me, your friend is dead. 
That's the only chance he has of getting out of here alive. All right. Let's get it over with. You're not going to win this, you know. You sound so certain. You're next, Francis. Only four left, Taylor. Play along. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. This is your game, Francis. You do it. I'd be glad to. Let him go. Have a nice time in hell.
Freeze, buddy! Right there! 